Okay, so it's still locked down and it's still boring. So I have some good book recommendations and some suggestions as how you guys can fill your time um, as preppers to, to be prepared. Make the use of the time that you've got available. That's what my friends keep telling me. Don't get stressed about it. Make the use of the time that's available to you. So my, uh, my first reading recommendation is a book that I hope that most of the people watching this will already own. And if you don't, then you seriously need to remedy that. It is, of course, the awesome SAS Survival Handbook by the amazing, amazing John Wiseman. So yeah, you can get the little tiny pocket versions. And I do actually have one of those that's in my book out bag. Um, but the, the big one is absolutely brilliant. It's, um, yeah, it's it's got everything. I mean, literally everything that that you could need to know in a really, really clearly put across way. And it is a really nice book to sit down and have a cup of tea with. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's my first recommendation for the book list. Um, then my second one is uh, one that I have mentioned before. Um, it is an absolutely hilarious book. The, the guy that wrote it was, was someone who was brilliant and definitely had a good sense of humour. Um, but it is something to think about because if SHTF does happen, then, well, what are you going to do with all the waste that you're going to be leaving behind? So learning how to use and compost humour is a skill that not many preppers seem to be, to be worrying about. And I think people should be a little bit more concerned about that. If the grid goes down and you don't have any flushing toilets anymore, there's no sewage or anything in civilization or if you've bugged out and you've got a camp and you're just digging pits repeatedly, then, you know, that's going to be taking a lot of time and energy. So, uh, so yeah, there you go. Joseph Jenkins and the Human Our Handbook. That is my second book recommendation that everyone should be reading by the end of this lockdown because the world is going absolutely, absolutely crazy. Um, so, yeah, so those are my first two things. Um, my, my, my second and kind of my second kind of point to this as well is right now is some time for a lot of people have just got to sit around and we still have the grid, we still have the internet, we've still got all these amazing resources. So like any kind of niche interests that you've got that will be tradable skills if SHTF happens and the grid does go down, we all end up booking out and living off grid. You never know, like crazy things have happened this year. If Elvis turned up on a spaceship saying that he was reclaiming the pyramids, I mean, I don't think it'd even make the top 10 weirdest things on my newsfeed on Facebook these days. So um, it's okay your niche knowledge um i've said before i'm not i've got ms and ellis danlos and a few other physical things so i'm not the most physically capable person a lot of the time um so the skills and knowledge that i've got i really hope will uh, will help me pull my weight if shtf does happen and the grid does go down and uh and yeah so these are kind of things that uh, like you know my kind of interests like herbal medicine um, learning how to identify and gather and forage, those sorts of skills. But uh, but yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is just like a couple of nice little books I picked up from uh, from a secondhand shop, I think, before, just before first lockdown happened. But um, but yeah, these are both pretty good if anyone wants any herb, uh, herb or tree and shrubs. But um, yeah, literally just being able to identify, like identify the trees, and then getting some, getting some books, getting some knowledge in your head on how to use them, because that is the important part. It's, it's, it's brilliant to be able to go out and be like, oh, you've got a horrible mosquito bite or you fell in a bush of stinging nettles. I've got some magic ointment to sort that that's made from the hedgerow. Um, and, and, you know, so yeah, this is a great little book. Um, the, uh, the herbs one, um, so it's just, yeah, nice little field guide to uh to 
pretty much pretty much everything and I say like again it depends what area you live in and kind of and what herbs are growing in your area um and I say lots of books kind of do kind of cover globally but that is quite good because a lot of things you kind of can get imported nowadays as well so if you are looking through um and you kind of think oh I'm kind of fancy trying that out in the south then you can normally get stuff that is like from other countries or just dried online and stuff so uh so yeah, so herbal medicine isn't isn't just confined to your own hedgerow, but if SHDF happens, then obviously it is. So having books and identifying plants from across the world isn't really going to, uh, to mean much. Um, and uh, and as a oh a lovely helicopter flying over, nice dystopian sound for my final book recommendation for uh, how the world is going and this is uh, The Machine Stops by E.M. Forster. It was written in 19, well first published sorry in 1909 and it is absolutely, uh, my my friend, my friend the awesome bloody pirate recommended it to me and I read the first couple of pages and was like oh my good god. So yeah if you're a prepper and, uh, and you want to see how uh, how our modern day dystopia is comparing to the uh, to the dystopic nightmares of the uh, of the 1909s then uh, then yeah this is definitely a book and it's only really really short as well really really quick read but i think that every prepper should read this because yeah it is it is crazy how uh, how many similarities how many similarities and how dependent we are the machine is in the book the machine is essentially the the grid it keeps everyone alive and keeps everyone separate keeps everyone in their own little houses and in their own little bubbles so uh yeah so it's uh it's quite an amazing book to read when we're kind of being locked down and going through this pandemic experience and uh, and seeing and seeing as preppers what the what their shdf scenarios are kind of might turn out to be um so yeah that's uh that's pixie's book recommendations and uh and some things for you guys to keep yourselves entertained on lockdown so yeah peace and love from the hedgerow <laughs>